Kelly, let's start at the macro level, a broad question. What is the biggest issue in the area of higher education right now? I think the biggest issue that higher ed is facing right now is just a question of its value. I think that, you know, the headlines that we hear are about, um, they're about rising tuition costs, they're about student debt, and people are really questioning whether higher ed is worth it. And what we know from research is that for most students, if you go to a reputable program at a strong school, then the answer is yes. Higher education is one of the strongest indicators and pathways to economic security and mobility. The challenge is that too many students don't have access to a high quality program or high quality institution. Too many institutions are getting taxpayer dollars in order to prey on vulnerable students and take their federal aid without providing them with a worthwhile degree. And we also don't have a way of knowing which is which. Uh, we don't have a robust enough uh, data system. We don't have a robust enough system of transparency. We don't have a robust enough accountability system to make sure that for most students, that higher ed is a good bet. Now, Kelly, we've seen news stories being done on this topic, predatory colleges promising the moon and delivering very little, but that hasn't really translated into meaningful reform from what you're saying. It shouldn't take a front page story to get the attention of the Department of Education. First of all, we need stronger front end protections so that providers who are going to become predatory and become take on some of these really shady practices, they shouldn't get in the door in the first place. But once they are in the door and once they are receiving federal aid, it is incumbent on the Department of Education um, to be a good steward of taxpayer dollars and to be a good steward of students' hopes and dreams. I mean, students see that these schools receive federal dollars. They see that they are accredited. And students believe that that means that somebody's checked them out and somebody has said that they are okay. Now, one measure of reform currently under debate is the College Transparency Act or the CTA. Can you explain to us exactly what that is and what it would do? So the College Transparency Act is a bipartisan piece of legislation uh, that has been introduced in both the House and the Senate. And what it would do would be very easy. It would let data that the federal government already has on students talk to each other. Right now, uh, there is a ban in place in federal law that means that we have a lot of information, but we can't actually figure out how it all works together. We can't tell, for example, how students at a particular school do after college. We can find it out for the whole, but not for individual groups of students. And it really matters when we're talking about equity, for example, to know if a school is serving their students of color well. Or it also made matters when you look at the different programs within a school. How does the engineering school compare to the education school, for example? We have some data, uh, but it's in different places in the federal government. And quite frankly, we just can't put it together so that we have a complete picture. And if students have access to that data, then they can become better consumers, more informed customers. Data is critical for students and families who are trying to make some of the most important decisions of their lives. Um, higher education can be the biggest um, investment that a student makes, potentially, um, except for a house. And so why shouldn't students have all of the available data to say, how does a student like me do at this particular program? How does a student who comes from a background like I come from, or who has you know, interests like I have, how are they going to do? If I am deciding between college X and college Y, or program X and program Y, I deserve to know how that school does for students like me. So Kelly, before we close the conversation, bottom line question, are we making progress? Are things getting better? We are making progress. It is slow. Uh, you know, we have over 5,000 institutions of higher ed in our country. Um, and so certainly not all of them are, are turning on a dime and now, you know, focused on, on delivering quality and value. Uh, but there are more and more um, schools every year that are trying to do innovative things that are working with 
you know, their local community to understand you know, the needs, to be more responsive uh, to what students need, to build more connections and bridges so students can start in the community college and then seamlessly transfer to the four-year. Um, there are places that are doing that. Um, we just need more of them, um, and we need the federal government to signal um, through the $130 billion they invest every year in higher education that that's important.